If you're wanting to move out into the hill country near Austin, then you might consider Lake Travis and Dripping Springs. These two areas are very similar. And in fact, a lot of our clients that are considering a move are torn between whether or not they should go to Lake Travis or Dripping Springs. So in this video, I'm going to break down some key differences and help you decide which one might be the better choice for you. Now, when I talk about the Lake Travis area, I'm meaning everything that's encompassed by Lake Travis school districts. So this includes all of Lakeway, Texas, Bee Cave, a little bit of Spicewood, Texas, and some neighborhoods that still have an Austin address. And when I refer to Dripping Springs area, I mean the area encompassed by Dripping Springs School District, which includes all of the town of Dripping Springs and also some neighborhoods that still have an Austin address as well. So first let's talk about local area attractions and amenities. If you are someone that wants to be close to the water and maybe have a boat, then the Lake Travis area is going to be a better fit because you've got access to Lake Travis. There are some communities that have lake access within the neighborhoods, such as Rough Hollow. There's also marinas where you can rent a boat for the day so you don't necessarily have to own one. If you're an avid golfer, the Lakeway area has four golf courses in the area that you can join. There's also some private neighborhood golf courses such as Falconhead and Spanish Oaks where you can join if you're a resident in those communities. And as far as shopping and restaurants are concerned, you've got the Hill Country Galleria located right in the heart of BK, Texas, plus a ton of retail spaces and restaurants up and down Ranch Road 620. Now, if you compare Dripping Springs to Lake Travis, it's a little less developed than that area. And in fact, nine years ago, when we were looking at building a home, that was one of the reasons we didn't go out to Dripping Springs is because it felt a little too rural for us. And we wanted to be closer to some shopping and restaurants and things like that. But in nine years, a lot has changed. So there's a huge shopping center now, the Belterra Village off of uh, Sawyer Ranch Road and 290. Downtown Dripping Springs also has new businesses popping up, lots of new restaurants and things. You've got a lot of hill country attractions. There's a local honey farm, there's an olive farm, there's really cool distilleries and wineries in the area. So you have more of a hill country vibe going on in Dripping Springs and it's not too far in. You can still drive to the Hill Country Galleria or to Barton Creek Mall if you wanna do some more serious shopping. Now let's talk about geography. So as you get closer to Lake Travis, you're going to see more dramatic, big rolling hills with huge views. So if you're wanting a lake view or some dramatic view overlooking a canyon, you're more likely to find those views in the Lake Travis area. When you get over to Dripping Springs, it's still a hill country, but it's a little bit softer, gentler rolling hills. So one of the things that clients decide between the two is that what are you looking for in a backyard? If my clients are saying I want at least a half acre or an acre or so, you've got more options in that area in Dripping Springs. But if someone's like, I want a really big view, then you're probably more likely to find that in the Lake Travis area. Some complaints about the, some of the Lake Travis homes is that in the master plan communities, um, they're really packed in kind of tight. And it has to do with the fact that you're up on the side of the hill. So you may have a, a bunch of homes overlooking a view. And when you go out to your backyard, that yard slopes down. So it's really not usable. So that's one of the cons of having the steeper hills in the Lakeway areas. You might not get a usable yard. Not all the homes are like that, but you're more likely to find those yards that are really tiny that just have the view only. Whereas Dripping Springs, it's a little bit spread out. You've got better chances to have a usable backyard. Now let's compare price tags. So the Lake Travis area is just a little bit more expensive than the Dripping Springs area. I just did a quick check for this year. All of the sold homes in the Lake Travis area and the median price was around 850,000. And by contrast, Dripping Springs is around 760,000. So your money goes a little bit further if you buy in Dripping Springs. Now price ranges vary greatly in both locations. You can still get starter homes in either area. You can still get very high end luxury homes in either area, but just the median prices, Lake Travis is about 100,000 more expensive than Dripping. Finally, let's talk about sense of community. 
Now, Bose Lake Travis and Dripping Springs are smaller size school districts, so there's only one high school for now in each location, although Lake Travis has plans to build a second high school in the near future. So smaller districts, both areas have local area festivals, there's community events, there's local farmers markets, and all kinds of fun things you can do with your family and with your kids to meet new people and stay involved. So if you're wanting that tight feeling of a small town and a local sense of a community, then both areas are definitely great choices. Now, after living in our Lake Travis home for nine years, we actually just sold it. We're moving only 10 minutes away. So right now we're building a new home in an area called Provence, which is off Hamilton Pool, and it's right between the border of Lake Travis Schools and Dripping Springs. So just to show you how much we love both areas, we are moving just 10 minutes away and we're now right in between the two. So like I said, you really can't go wrong moving either direction. If you need more guidance on exploring the options and seeing which neighborhoods might be the right match, then click the link below and just book a consultation with us.